We have seen earlier that all mass defects in the universe are converted into ether, and space is filled with this substance. As a state of matter, an individual unit of ether must have a mass, although we currently have no way of measuring it, and be attracted by gravity. Due to gravity, every massive body maintains a dense region of ether around that body, which gives us a new understanding of the universe. There is an ether bubble around the Earth, an ether bubble around the Sun, and an ether bubble around the center of the galaxy. Earth's bubble sits inside the Sun's bubble, and the Sun's bubble sits inside the giant bubble created by the galactic center. In other words, bubbles of planets sit inside bubbles of stars, and bubbles of stars are inside bubbles of the centers of galaxies. Since there is no relative motion between a body and the surrounding bubble, there is no ether wind, so Michelson-Morley type experiments do not work. Ether density is higher near a body and it decreases with distance. That is, a body creates a density gradient of ether around it. The optical density of a region is determined by the ether density of that region. If the ether density is high then the optical density will also be high and vice versa, because of this, light travels at a slower speed near a massive body. This provides new insight into the gravitational bending of light. As light passes through regions of different optical densities, it is refracted and bent. In reality, phenomena such as starlight bending and gravitational lensing are simply the refraction of light from dense ether regions. As light approaches a massive body it experiences a slowdown, and which will be highest at the point closest to the body. This implies that if a ray of light travels from one edge of a galaxy to the other, its speed changes multiple times. In fact, the speed of light is not a universal constant, but it varies with the local ether density. This indicates the limitations of the letter C that we commonly use in modern physics calculations.